This is our riding lawnmower. It's a pretty bog standard thing. I don't know about the brand. It's made in 1990. It's got a blown head gasket. And uh, pretty much everything's wrong with it, but most prominently, I've got a dog in my face. Most prominently, there's a bit of an issue with a rear axle. Namely, you can see the input shaft spins, but uh, the wheels do not. Now, the differential part seems to be working, but no matter what gear you put this thing in, it won't really do anything. And if we have a look in here, you can see that there's a very large crack right there. And if you put this thing upside down, there'll be fluid coming out of that crack. So something's gone horribly wrong with this thing. And uh, I'm going to try putting it in different gears for a bit more and see if I can get anything to happen with it. But if that doesn't do it, then we're just going to do an autopsy. And yes, yeah, something's very obviously <laughs> gone horribly wrong with this thing. No crunching noises, though. Really. Well, so some digging around with it, I actually managed to get it in gear. And lo and behold, you can actually get the wheels to turn, but there's so much play in the disc that if you just keep spinning it in roughly the direction that the belt puts the load on, it is just going to start skipping gears and make horrible noises. I don't think it's supposed to be doing that. You can just hear the gears jumping around in it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't think there's any saving this thing. Not from a huge crack in the housing. Uh, I'm going to try and take it apart. Now, this entire thing is Imperial, and I don't have any Imperial tools, so we'll have to see where it goes. Yeah, it's just an exercise and fun anyway. Alright, we've got all the bol bolts out, so we'll see how many cogs and metal shards come flying out at us. Oh, that's not, that's not pretty. Wow, it's full of water. Safe of the Yeah. That was probably oil twenty five years ago. Ugh. It's just this rusty mess. I'm actually kind of surprised at how good this thing looks inside. I was expecting way worse. I mean, this is the incoming gear, and it doesn't seem to be that bad. <laughs> well, yeah. I don't think that one's supposed to be doing that. <laughs> of this nowhere near as bad as I expected but <laughs> yeah I mean this thing could be intended to be lewd by grease but I kind of get the sense that it's not supposed to be this way if it was intended to be lewd by grease I don't think it would be stuck all the, all the way over in this corner yeah, yeah. I don't think it's supposed to be full of water. Yuck. But 
bother with it. Aren't, I mean, it doesn't seem to be entirely rusted free. The gears are in very good nick. Absolutely nothing wrong with these. This one's got a bit of rust going on there, but hey, that's nothing. That's prob yeah, that's supposed to be grease there. And that's that's hard as rock, really. So yeah, this this is obviously supposed to be oil. If the grease is a lot thicker than the slunched up oil. But yeah, I don't think there's much I can do about this. I'd have to get a new type of cover for this thing. And considering the fact that this mower is just in generally not too impressive shape and it already needs a head gasket, it did run for about five seconds prior to blowing it when I tried to start it. It's also missing the top cover for the engine. There's supposed to be a metal cover covering all this up, allowing this fan here to draw air over the engine. That might be part of the reason why it blew the head gasket, although I think it's mostly to do with the fact that it's got some uh, outlets or inlets there and uh, it's just been collecting rain water in these little crevices there. It's going to need new tyres, that's for sure, and uh, the ignition lock was entirely rusted through so I've had to just jury rig it in order to actually get it to turn over at all. The ignition switch just it had a resistance of a few mega ohms when it was connected, so if I would have started this thing, it wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to turn it off without stalling out the engine. So, yeah, all in all, I'm going to have to consider just driving this thing to the scrap heap. Unless I can find a new rear end to just pop in there real cheaply, but I've never seen another Murray mower. Most of them around here are Who's Corner brand. So yeah, unless there's some shared parts, this uh, gearbox assembly is, can be found in, found in a Who's Corner, then I'm, yeah, I don't know, not too keen on trying to put this thing back together. And I'd have to flush all this gunk out and put new oil in it. Yeah, I think we've even got some rocks down in there. Charge for battery pack, okay. I think we might be going offline. Yeah. Definitely got some rocks going there. Yummy. Yeah, that'll be all for this mirror this time. It did last for 25 years, so I guess you can't complain. Cheerio.